a very good morning to everyone so welcome to lecture number 9 on the topic of relative motion okay. so now um, we have finished constant acceleration and then we have started constant velocity in the last class correct okay and within constant velocity <clears throat> we have finished uh, one model that is called as uh, train two trains crossing each other okay along the same track or two cars crossing each other okay moving with a constant velocity okay and then we have seen different models and how to understand the given problem we have seen okay so here this is what we discussed the last class that is constant velocity where we have only one equation in this model in this entire model s equal to ut okay and we have finished trains crossing in one dimension now we'll see two dimension okay of course within one dimension also there are riverman problems okay that we'll try to finish today here constant velocity trains crossing each other riverman problems of stream and down stream okay so today we'll see this one riverman problems okay and then afterwards we'll see riverman problems crossing the river in the shortest time and in shortest paths okay now before that uh, i'll just show an animation okay are you able to see the screen yes sir yes sir okay so now here there is a river which is flowing which we can see here what you call in, in the form of bubbles you can see here which indicates that the river is flowing towards right okay and then here there is a boat okay which we can place it at some angle any angle we can choose we can choose here angle Okay, where alpha you can vary it as what you call uh, less than ninety like this. Okay, thirty thirty degrees you can make it. Okay, or forty five, <clears throat> or sixty, or ninety, or more than ninety also you can make it. Okay, and then beta is called as the uh, direction in which the river is flowing. Okay, suppose if the river you want. we wants to what you call if you want to make the river to flow left side then we can keep 180 degrees okay or 0 degrees which means that river is flowing right side okay now let us say the river velocity is 2.5 here meters per second okay if you want you can increase the speed also let us keep it at 2.5 meters per second okay and then now boat velocity this is boat velocity which you can also increase okay and then here is the diagram vector diagram basically <clears throat> okay so keep it 5 here okay and the river width is given as 1000 meters if you want you can change also okay so now suppose if if i start at a assuming i mean say aiming at aiming to reach b can i reach if i start at this like this no sir no sir no sir we can't reach why because river velocity acts on the boat because the river is not pressing it's sir. not still sir river is not still it is moving not yeah still. river is not still it is moving if river is still then we can, then we can go reach, sir. sir then we reach sir yeah so now because river is move so now let us see when the river is still let us verify and when the river is having velocity let us verify both because we have the option of keeping it zero no correct <laughs> now river is not moving okay river is not flowing so let us start we have reached 
correct eh? how much time 204 seconds okay okay now i'm what you call keeping the river velocity correct eh? how much 2.5 no yeah now uh, the bow direction <laughs> will deviate so it will not reach b yeah now let us see Are you able to see it now that the boat is not able to yes, sir. yeah now the boat is not able to reach b okay it will reach some other point it will reach some other point on the other bank okay and this is the displacement the black one is the displacement means finally the boat is moving in this direction it is supposed to move in this red direction but it is it is aiming to move in this direction only but finally it moves in this direction okay Sir, if we want to reach the B in flowing water, sir, we must go in obtuse angle, no, sir. Yeah, if you want to reach exactly B, then you have to keep your angle at some other angle. Correct? At what angle you have to keep is obtuse, like, sir. Yeah, obtuse angle you have to keep. Okay. So now, if you start. You can reach B. Correct? may not be exactly but yeah sir at 120 degrees it will reach sir yeah at 120 degrees it will reach okay of course this angle changes with these values depending on river flow depending upon boat velocity everything okay so this is called as a two dimension this is called as two dimension this is called as what two dimension this is called as two dimension okay <clears throat> where the river is flowing in this direction correct the river is flowing right side which is giving which is given by this uh, blue color arrow and this red color arrow is the direction in which uh, you are aiming you want to reach this point so therefore you are aiming like this you are uh, what you call making the boat to move in this direction but finally you are moving in this direction okay so the same principle is true even for aeroplanes also okay there uh, instead of river velocity we we'll have wind, this. wind velocity okay so especially uh, those means uh, the what you call for sailors okay and for captains in the aeroplanes uh, this topic is very very important correct or not if they don't understand this one and then if it, if they just fly okay then they may not reach the destination they will reach some other place they may not reach the destination okay so this topic is a very very important topic for them how much is the wind velocity how much velocity they should <clears throat> fly okay so that they will reach the destination and all okay so actually suppose let's say this is delhi this is bangalore okay so but wind is there so now if you directly aim towards bengaluru then you will not reach bengaluru correct <laughs> then you will reach somewhere else depending upon the wind velocity and all either this side singapore or that side or you call pakistan or somewhere else. correct or not okay so therefore they have to calculate exactly how much speed of course nowadays it's automatic navigation and all they don't have to do anything the system will generate everything how much speed and how much they just make sure that the <clears throat> what you call automated navigation works properly or not of course what you call manually also they'll do but they'll have map okay uh, according to that map they'll go okay anyway so this is a very interesting topic so now let us discuss uh, okay now this is called two dimension this is called as what the two dimension means uh, yeah this one river man problems crossing the river in the shortest time and in the shortest path okay and the same concept if you can understand for river man problems same thing will be applied for aeroplane wind problems and rain umbrella problems also okay but before that uh, let us see in one dimension river man problems which is very easy upstream and downstream okay now let us take the same example let us take the same animation let us take the same animation and see upstream and downstream 
upstream means what uh, downstream means i think you are, you know correct or not what is meant by downstream tell me sir the boat direction and the river direction are same sir yeah downstream means uh, now if river is flowing right side correct or not river is flowing right side now if your boat is also moving in the same direction okay now see here first of all river velocity is how much here tell me 2.5 meters per second okay now for example i make it zero i make it zero river velocity river is not flowing now now my boat is i think here it is not coming zero i think minimum angle is there 10 degrees okay but suppose if you assume that the boat is what you called moving exactly at 0 degrees okay and then we start okay like this only it will go straight actually here i should make it zero are you understanding so then it will go in this direction okay now what is the speed with which the boat will move 4.9 yeah or 5 that means 5 meters per second correct yeah now suppose uh, keeping the boat speed as 5 only suppose if i increase the river velocity now to 2.5 now with what speed the boat will move assuming that this is zero 7.6 yeah it will move fast correct with what velocity 7 because now 7. river yeah now river is also pushing it na river is also pushing it previously when the river was not flowing whatever was the velocity of the boat with that much velocity only the boat will move but when the river is flowing it gets some additional push correct or not okay so therefore it will move with that velocity okay so this is called as downstream this is called as downstream okay now what is meant by upstream upstream okay yes sir it on what is meant by upstream uh, the river force it will be opposite the boat force direction yeah so that means uh, when i keep the river direct what uh, called boat direction exactly at here here also they what you call they are not giving 180 degrees okay i think it's a two dimensional animation actually okay so here also assume that it is 180 degrees okay now when here also suppose if there is no river means there is no velocity for the river river is not flowing it is still okay then if you start uh, then whatever velocity see it is going slowly with speed 5 meters per second okay now the moment when i what you call uh, uh, increase the velocity of the river now river is flowing right side but my boat direction is opposite to the direction of river now if i start to, will it go with the same speed of 5 or will it go no, with sir, 7.6 sir that means uh, it will go slow or fast slow sir slow. Yes, sir So let us verify. Half the velocity. So let us verify. See, it's going slowly. Correct or not? Compared to previous one, it was going slowly. Okay. So that is called as upstream. That is called as what? The upstream. So in the upstream, the velocities have to be subtracted, and in the downstream, the velocities have to be added. Correct or not? Okay. Now I think you got some what do you call picture about it. Correct. Okay. So now <clears throat> let us see. Let us go into the class. Yeah. Okay. Now see here. the heading as river man problems okay so this river man problems sir, are classified into two types one is a one dimensional one is two dimensional okay and within one dimensional we have what upstream and downstream these are very easy 
correct or not? Okay. But here, understanding that uh, what you call, there are certain terms, terminology that you have to understand. Okay. This is called as uh, upstream, and this is called as downstream. Next, two-dimensional. Okay. Here also there are two cases. Okay. Now, crossing the river in shortest crossing the river in shortest time. Okay. I want to cross the river in shortest time. So, which route I should take? Okay. Suppose you want to go urgently to the other side. So, you will ask, now I want to go very fast. What is the best route or how should I travel? Okay. Next, some other person will ask, I mean, I may not, I, I don't want to cross the river in the shortest time, but I need to cross the river in the shortest path. I don't have fuel. So, please tell me where I can cross the river in the shortest path. Okay. So, you have to tell him what is the, at what time, crossing the river in shortest path. That is, so, these are the, this is called as, this model is called as crossing the river. Okay. So, let us begin. So, please write down. These are the two things which we are going to see. In one dimension, upstream and downstream. And in two dimensions, we are going to see crossing the river in the shortest time and crossing the river in the, what do you call, shortest path. I hope you have finished it. Okay. Done, sir. Yeah. So, write down what is meant by upstream. If the boat and the uh, river are flowing, are moving in op opposite direction, that is called as upstream. Okay. Or otherwise, you write down here. If boat moves in opposite direction, if boat moves in opposite direction to stream. Here, same direction. That means both direction and uh, stream direction are in the same direction. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, here, there are certain terminologies. You have to understand it very carefully. Okay. What is the terminology? Is, okay. Uh, in the given problem, they will say sometimes uh, the velocity of man is given as uh, 2 meters per second or 5 meters per second and velocity of river is uh, uh, 2.5 meters per second. So, we should understand those terms uh, okay, very clearly. Okay, What is meant by that term and all. Okay, So, first uh, let us see. Yeah. First, I am telling for upstream and downstream. Okay. Now, whatever, now whether you are going in the upstream or in the downstream, okay, whether you are going in the upstream or in downstream, always make sure that, okay, uh, given river velocity is always with respect to ground, okay, that is the first point, okay, this is the technology, okay, given, in the given problem, whatever is the velocity of river given, that is with respect to ground. And given velocity of man, okay, they won't mention, okay, they won't mention as it is with respect to ground or like that. They'll just say it as given velocity of the man, okay. Then you should always take it as that the speed of man or boat, okay, the speed of boat is always with respect to river, is always with respect to river, very, very important. It's always with respect to river, okay. That is what you have to understand first carefully, okay. So, suppose I am giving those things here. So, suppose let us say this is the river. Okay. River is flowing like here. Here. Only three terms will be there. We have to understand those three terms. Okay. The first one is called as velocity of river with respect to ground. 
second one is called as velocity of man with respect to river or boat with respect to river third one is called as velocity of man with respect to ground so these three terms will come in this model which you have to understand very clearly okay what sir, is yeah sir uh, you said that velocity of the man will be given with respect to river no sir so that the means the velocity of the man when the river is con uh, stable no sir yeah yes sir okay. now see here <coughs> stable means uh, still means it is not that when the uh, river is still then the man is flowing it is uh, the given velocity is we had to take it as the given velocity of man is with respect to river yes okay. sir but it it does not mean that it means that when you stand on the river river is at rest and that is the velocity with which man is moving but it does yes. not mean that river is always at rest and you are swimming it's not like that you have to understand yes it. sir so that's what i am telling these terms we have to understand very carefully although it looks simple okay calculations are simple but understanding is very important that's why i'm taking time to explain these things okay so first and foremost is called as the river velocity whenever in a problem they give the river velocity okay that is always with respect to ground so please remember given until now <clears throat> whatever we discussed uh, in relative motion problems whatever given values are always with respect to ground here very carefully until now until now whatever we discussed so i am drawing a line here okay so until now whatever we discussed in those problems okay all given values are with respect to ground all given values are with respect to ground or with respect to ground okay now <clears throat> the given values these three will be given out of which two will be given and you will be asked to calculate one okay so when these are given how to take that is what i am explaining okay so now see here so given river velocity is always with respect to ground given river velocity is always is always with respect to ground given velocity is always with respect to ground like for example they gave that river velocity river is flowing with 2 meters per second so that means what river velocity with respect uh, that is, that velocity is with respect to ground which is equal to 2 meters per second in right side or you can say 2i cap is it clear so this is first part is clear so whenever it is given it is always with respect to ground because generally river flows on the ground so therefore it is taken like this okay next next thing is when man is or boat is moving okay when boat is moving or man is uh, swimming okay anything okay so suppose let us say this is the boat yeah this is the boat with which now this boat is moving this side okay now when the boat is when or let us say man you can assume it as man generally we see we saw we have we have problems with man okay so now they will say that the man's velocity is what you call 5 meters per second they will say okay so now according to our previous problems some students will take it as with respect to ground that is the mistake we should not do okay they the given velocity of man okay the given velocity of man is uh, sir can you zoom out sir once Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Done, sir. The given velocity of man, okay, is always with respect to river. So please read. Given speed of man or velocity of man is. always with respect to river with respect to river suppose let's say that the velocity of man with respect to river is given as 5 meters per second the velocity of man is 5 meters per second in some problem they may say it is with respect to river okay 
okay but since some problem they'll just say it as velocity of man is given as 5 meters per second so that means what it is 5 by cap like this if we if we move this side minus 5 by cap okay and sometimes in some other test books okay they also mention it as okay the same thing and <laughs> this quantity they will give it as uh his efforts man's effort the uh, the man's the velocity of man's effort is 5 meters per second they will also mention it as like this okay so that means uh, this quantity can also be called as man's efforts okay this is also called as man's efforts these are all different names okay one is speed of man they mention it as speed of man okay another thing is man's effort they will say man's effort means basically what does it mean is it actually what does it mean according to relative motion concept when you stand on the river actually river is flowing okay actually river is flowing here river is flowing okay please understand carefully okay river is flowing but now you are standing on the river you are standing on the river when you stand on the river now river is at rest now river is not moving according to you according to you now river is not moving now man is moving with this speed 5 meters per second so therefore it is called his efforts because now river is not pushing him na are you to understand the term okay that's why they call it as this is man's efforts okay are you to understand or not okay <clears throat> so this is very very important please understand carefully okay sometimes they'll say that uh, the speed of man the speed of man they'll say it as 5 meters per second or sometimes they'll say it as man's efforts sometimes they'll say it as man's efforts so both of both are correct or sometimes they'll say it as in some test books they'll also mention it as speed of man in still water speed of man in still water speed of speed of man in still water is 5 meters per second okay so that means his effort his effort is this one 5 meters per second okay so now they so these two quantities generally they'll give us these two quantities generally they'll give us these two quantities velocity of river with respect to ground and the man velocity with respect to river then they'll ask us what is the velocity of the man with respect to ground okay in upstream and downstream you can easily tell this velocity just now you already told suppose let us say now <clears throat> in uh, just the example which we have taken in uh, uh, downstream how much is this velocity tell me in downstream how much is this velocity velocity of the man with respect to ground in downstream how much is seven yeah see here now see here this is the zero velocity okay now see here now when the boat is not moving and the boat is velocity is zero now river is velocity river velocity is this one this is suppose let's say 5 this is called as velocity of river with respect to ground this velocity okay are you do you understand okay so yes, now sir. yeah so now this river velocity is this much now now the boat is moving suppose let us say 2.5 meters per second sir yeah sir in the direction we can enter the value zero degrees sir here huh? yes sir sir after entering zero you shouldn't move that uh, slider okay i entered zero now you can press enter yeah now see here now this velocity this it yeah now see here now here there are you have to understand now carefully now what is this file Uh, river velocity. The velocity of river with respect to ground. What is this 2.5? Velocity uh, of boat with respect. With respect to river. Yeah, that means uh, when river was when you stand on the river, then this is the velocity with which he'll move, uh, which means his effort, his effort. That means his own effort. Okay, it is not uh, with the help of river. Now with now when when the, when you are moving downstream, now what will happen now? Uh, you will see it as moving with 2.5 only no sir with 
seven point five seven. Yeah, so that means because that is called as, additional velocity. Yeah, that is called as the velocity of the man with respect to ground. So that means, sir, now when you stand on the ground and observe carefully, okay. For example, see here. Yeah. Okay. Now, now when you stand on the ground, now now you are standing on the ground, okay. And uh, if you observe this uh, man, I'm treating this as man. Now that is called as velocity of the man with respect to ground. That is what they they will ask generally. With what velocity now the man will move? Okay. So now how much you will tell? Tell me what is the answer? Sir, seven point five, sir. Yeah. How you got seven point five? Sir, by adding velocity of uh, man with river and velocity of river, sir. sir. Velocity of the seven point five is coming from five plus two point five. Correct or not? Okay. So what is five? Basically, five is called as what? Velocity of river velocity with respect to ground. River with respect to ground. Yeah. What is two point five? Velocity, velocity of, of man with respect to river. river. Okay, which is equal to this equation. Okay, so that means uh, velocity of man with respect to ground is equal to velocity of the river with respect to ground plus uh, velocity of man with respect to river. So this is the equation which we have used unknowingly. Correct? Correct. You just you, you didn't know this equation, but you are told seven point five. Just by common sense. Correct or not? Because you, you now since you are moving downstream, your effort will be added by the reverse push. So therefore, net will be seven point five. Okay, but actually this is according to vector or you call basic relative motion concept only. We know what is the velocity of man with respect to river. Basic formula, just like what is the velocity of a with respect to b. What is the basic formula? Tell me. What is the velocity of a with respect to b? General. So velocity of a minus velocity of b. Yeah, velocity of a minus velocity of b. And when I when I don't write anything, what does it mean? It is with respect to ground. Ground. Okay. Same way, can you tell me what is velocity of man with respect to river? A uh, velocity of man minus velocity of river. Velocity of man minus velocity of river. When I don't write anything, what does it mean? With respect to ground, sir. With respect to ground, sir. Now I want to which quantity? Velocity of man with respect to ground. So from here, what is the equation? Velocity of man with respect to ground is equal ah, to velocity of m with respect to r is r is minus velocity of r yeah. with respect to g. Velocity of river with respect to ground plus velocity of man with respect to river. See this equation and this equation are valid. Are they matching? Correct. Sir? Yeah. So this is the equation which we have to use either in one dimension in upstream or downstream or in two dimension also same equation. Only thing is now we have to add vectorially. That's all. Now we have to add vectorially. I'll explain one by one. Okay, is it clear? So now let us write there. Uh, one minute. We are in the. This is yeah. Yeah, not here. So now I explain these two terms, and now they'll ask this term. Okay, they'll ask this term. What is the term? Is now when you stand on the ground, when you stand on the ground, okay, with what velocity the man will move? That is what the question is. Okay. Okay, so what is the velocity of man with respect to ground? That is what generally they last third quantity. Okay, or sometimes after some what you call solving some problems, they may give these two and they may ask this one, or they may give uh, first and third. They may ask this one. Okay, first we'll solve. First we'll start solving problems when these two are given first, two, and then how to calculate this one. After solving some problems, then they'll give one and three. They last two, or they'll give two and three. They last one. Okay, but equation is very simple. Are you understanding? So, what is the basic equation from now onwards? See here, velocity of man with respect to ground is equal to. Please remember it as velocity of man first. Velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to ground. 
man with first man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to flow so this is the equation which you have to remember from now on i hope you understood all the three terms you understood all the three terms okay sometimes they will also write it as velocity of man is equal to velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river okay, in some textbooks is it clear yes sir so please write down in physics you have to understand the what you call uh, concepts terminology is very important because they, that is what will confuse you okay even now also many students will get are having a doubt that uh, sir how it is velocity of man with respect to river river is flowing and uh, why you are telling that it is with respect to river and you are telling that river is at rest still it will have some doubts some students may have doubts okay so this topic needs uh, what you call hearing again and again so please watch this video again and again okay when you don't understand if you understand then you don't have to do but if you don't understand please watch the video again and again okay until this uh, terms get into your mind this terminology okay only thing is you have to accept those terms that's <laughs> okay there is no this thing okay <clears throat> is it clear okay so now let us talk about now let us see uh, downstream and upstream we'll finish it and then we'll go to the crossing the river maybe tomorrow okay so now let us see now downstream in case of downstream okay so what is the velocity of man with respect to ground what is the equation tell me velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to ground what is the velocity of man with respect to river 2.5 i cap what is the velocity of river with respect to ground 5 i cap so that is equal to 7.5 i cap okay next upstream what is the upstream case tell me in case of upstream what will happen sir uh, we'll get minus 2.5 i cap sir yeah so upstream so we will get a uh, v mr minus v r g no sir yeah this equation is velocity of man with respect to river minus velocity of river with respect to ground so that is equal to now what is the velocity of man with respect to river minus 2.5 sir minus 2.5 i cap because now he is traveling upstream no? so upstream means is where effort is this side is effort is this side minus velocity of river is flowing right side so 5i cap sir you have to keep uh, velocity of river as positive sir velocity of the no no sorry sir yeah. here it is uh, this positive, is always plus sir. yeah this is always plus please here equation doesn't change sorry i made a mistake here this equation doesn't change here now see here this is uh, velocity of man with respect to ground is equal to velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to this equation is you have to by heart you have to drill into your mind general equation is velocity of a with respect to ground is equal to velocity of a with respect to b plus velocity of b with respect to ground this is the general equation okay and in case of river man problems velocity of man with respect to ground is equal to velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to ground and if you go in case of aeroplane from the general equation this equation is what this is general equation specifically for what you call river man problem this is the equation and for aeroplane wind problem just replace what now a with what velocity of aeroplane with respect to ground is equal to velocity of aeroplane with respect to wind plus velocity of wind with respect to ground that's all are you able to understand me how we got this equation i already told you how we got this equation tell me how we got this general equation from the basic formula of velocity of a with respect to b what is the formula of velocity of a with respect to b velocity of a minus velocity of b yeah and when you don't write anything with respect to ground with respect to ground now you take this one separately velocity of a with respect to ground is equal to you bring this one to this side so that means velocity of so velocity of a with respect to b plus velocity of b with respect to ground okay. so this is the general equation this is the general equation which i got from this basic equation okay 
And from this general equation, depending upon three situations, we have river man problem, aeroplane wind problem, then rain, rain umbrella problem. So velocity of rain with respect to ground is equal to velocity of rain with respect to umbrella or man, we'll say. Okay. Man plus, because man and umbrella are same, plus velocity of man with respect to ground. That's all. This is the basic equation. This is the basic fundamental equation. This is the basic fundamental equation. No matter how many stars I keep you, okay, it is not sufficient. That much important this equation is, general equation. And in case of each specific situation, we have equations. Okay. So now this is equal to how much tell me? Minus 2.5 i cap plus 5 i cap. So that is two equal to how much? Yeah, 2.5. Yeah, 2.5. Okay. So that is how what you call um, you should understand this uh, downstream and then upstream. Okay. And when we go to what you call um, <coughs> two dimension, this is called one dimension. This is called as one dimension. This is called as one dimension. And so the one dimension means what uh, the boat is also moving in what you call x direction and river is also moving in x direction. Only thing is. Uh, what you call in one case they are traveling in the same direction, in another case they are traveling in the opposite direction. That's all. But in one dimension, in case of two dimension means we say it as crossing the river. In case of two dimension means we say it as crossing the river because uh, now when you have to cross the river, river will be flowing in which direction? Tell me. Velocity of river with respect to ground. River is flowing in which direction? I cap. Five okay. I cap. Yeah. Now, velocity of man with respect to river can be in any direction, correct? Can be in any direction, correct? Suppose, let us say here. Suppose uh, if it is flowing yeah. Now, if it is flowing, now the man wants to what you call move in this direction at an angle of 90. Now, what is the direction in which he is moving? Tell me. Now, what is the direction in which he is moving? I cap or J cap? Is it I cap or J cap? J cap. J cap. J cap. Yeah, J cap. So, now they will ask us to find out what is the velocity of man with respect to ground. So, what is the equation? Velocity of man with respect to ground equal to velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to ground, which is equal to 2.5 j cap plus 5 i cap. So, should I write 7.5? No, sir. <laughs> sir, root yeah. over 2.5 square plus 5 square, sir. So, this is a two dimension. This is one dimension. Are you able to understand that? So, you have to be careful. So, that means... Uh, now the vector addition comes into the picture. Where now the vector addition comes into the picture where this is a addition of two vectors. Correct? Suppose we have two vectors. Suppose let's say uh, we have one vector like this. Okay. And another vector like this. How will you add these two vectors? Okay. By placing what you call the tail of one vector at the head of the another vector like this and then joining the what you called uh, tail of first vector to the head of second vector. And there are methods also, parallelogram law, triangle law, parallelogram law, and then polygon law like this. Correct or not? Okay. So same way, now we have to do this one also. Are you able to understand? No? Okay. In vectors, we have studied where, suppose let's say there are two vectors, P bar and Q bar. Okay. So what is the resultant? R bar is equal to P bar plus Q bar. Correct? Or? Suppose if this is P bar and this is Q bar. Okay, so if I give you like this, then how will you calculate? Is just joining these two vectors, okay, either by triangle law or by parallelogram law. Okay, generally what we do is what instead of triangle law, parallelogram law is very helpful. Okay, so according to parallelogram law, we'll join the tails of both the vectors at one place and complete the parallelogram like this. Complete the parallel, and then the result, the diagonal of this parallelogram is nothing but called as the resultant, like this. This is called as the R vector. Same way, now this is called as what? 
P vector, sir. Same way, this is called as what? Q, sir. Q vector. This is called as R. R. Are you able to understand? So now the resultant of these two is nothing but vector addition of these two. So that means now I should draw first 2.5 J cap which side? Tell me. I should draw 2.5 J cap which side? Up. Sir, upwards. Yeah, upwards. Positive y axis. Yeah. And then uh, this one I should draw which side? Positive. Yeah. Right side, sir. Yeah. This is 5 I cap. This is 2.5 I cap. Correct? Now, what should I do if I want to join this? Now, th this is called as what? Velocity of man with respect to river. This is called as velocity of river with respect to ground, which is like P and Q. Now, what should I do? I should complete. Parallelogram. Yeah. And what is the resultant of these two? The diagonal of the parallelogram. And this is what? Velocity of man with respect to ground. Yeah. So that means uh, when you stand on the ground and observe, the man will move or boat will move this direction. Correct? Is it correct? See? Yes, so 90 sir. degrees I kept. Everything is same. No? They were 5 velocity, boat 2.5 I kept. Now in which direction, the when you stand on the ground, in which direction of the boat will move? Let us see. Correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So if you want to see the displacements, I'll show it. See the displacement. This vector represents what? This blue vector. First of all, blue vector represents what? Five. Five. Sir, velocity. Yeah, I'll show it to one minute. Yeah, no, I'll write. So this blue vector represents the velocity of river with respect to ground. Correct or not? This red color represents velocity of man with respect to river. Yes. Black color represents velocity of man with respect to ground. They would understand that. Even here also you see, now uh, this vector, can I shift it here? Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or I can keep it here also. Correct? But if I keep it here, then I'll get one complete triangle. So this triangle is very, very important. Please remember this triangle, which has three sides. Yeah. Tell me what are the three sides? This side is what to call as well. That means two Plus. sides will, yeah, hypotenuse will be the resultant. What is our resultant? Tell me here. What is our resultant? Always velocity of man with respect to ground. Yeah. So this hypotenuse will always be velocity of man with respect to ground. Then this will be what velocity of river with respect to ground. Generally, we take horizontal. Then this will be velocity of man with respect to river. Okay. Of course, the arrows makes difference. Very, very important. Okay. These arrows makes difference. So this is one diagram you should always remember. Another diagram which you should remember is this one, the basic diagram, the basic parallel. This one. Are you able to understand? Eh? So both diagrams should be in your mind. Okay. One is this, this one. Yeah. Both are one in the same. This is called as velocity of man with respect to river. This is called velocity of river with respect to ground. This is called velocity of man with respect to ground. So these two diagrams you should by heart. By heart in the sense that understanding the equation. This equation and what is the equation we have? Velocity of man with respect to ground is equal to velocity of man with respect to river plus velocity of river with respect to ground. Okay. So this thing, entire thing. Okay, I'll put it in box. This is the basis for solving any problem in this. Equation and diagram. 
because they'll view only these values na so if you know in this triangle you can use hypotenuse rule or you can use sine cosine anything they can okay anything whatever they give you can just calculate from this okay so for today i just explained the concepts okay once again you see here today i just started with river man problems one dimension and two dimension so within one dimension upstream and downstream two dimension crossing the river in shortest time crossing the river in shortest path okay uh, today we just finished upstream and downstream concept okay and then tomorrow we'll see this one maybe some problems on upstream and downstream very simple problems one or two and then we'll start uh, concept of what you called crossing the river in shortest time and in shortest paths okay that is what and whether it is one dimension or two dimension the most important part uh, in this uh, topic is uh, understanding these three terms okay what are these three terms so today you just absorb yourself in understanding these three terms that's it okay then you can solve what do you call them then tomorrow when I, when we start solving problems then you can easily yeah tomorrow when you start solving problems then you can easily understand okay <laughs> why i am asking you to understand this thing is okay and giving time you is if you understand these okay then aeroplane uh, wind problems and the rain umbrella problems will be same you don't have to discuss also just uh, whatever you apply or whatever understanding we have here same thing will be valid for those two models also okay so for today that's all so that's all and for this week what is the exam syllabus is many students some students are telling that relative motion may be difficult and all so what i'll do is i'll keep projectiles plus relative motion relative motion little bit and r 50% 50% okay so the syllabus for this week is both projectiles plus relative motion which includes in projectiles inclined plane also is it clear yes sir okay so that's all for today so thank you very much have a nice day please watch this video once again